Hey, heads up, if you're near Houston, the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office is getting a drone. Yeah! The chief deputy there reportedly has not ruled out putting weapons on his drone. You go, Houston. According to the news app The Daily, which is owned by the parent company of this network, the deputy said he does not plan to arm the drone anytime soon, but he also said adding a tear gas dispenser or a gun that shoots non-lethal rubber bullets could be, quote, advantageous. Of course, this will not be the only unmanned aircraft watching U.S. soil. Surveillance drones are already in use across the South, and the Department of Homeland Security has acknowledged it has a fleet of drones for watching U.S. borders and has for years. Judge Andrew Napolitano is here, our senior judicial analyst. They're watching. This and is they're considering the, arming their eyes in the air. This is why we have a constitution, and this is why we have federal judges and state judges to stop this from getting out of hand. It's already out of hand. It is. One could make the argument. I'm not making that argument. That would be out of place, but it's an argument that could be made. I will make the argument Thank that you. if those drones are being used without search warrants, if those drones are watching you inside your house, if those drones are just randomly watching people without any articulable suspicion about the people they're watching, they're violating already existing state and federal laws that say nothing about the Constitution. The, 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 the test is reasonable expectation of privacy, right? Yes. For instance, if I have a 12-foot high fence around my backyard, no trees around that from which someone could sit and perch and watch, if I have all of that, and you watch from a drone, you are violating my reasonable expectation of privacy. And if I am the government, I am violating the Fourth Amendment, as well as numerous other statutes intended to restrain the government. And that's when you go to a federal judge. And yet, up go the drones in and around the Houston, Texas, and oh yeah, we might arm them. That, if those drones shoot a propellant at someone, that would be attempted murder. Plain and simple, whether orchestrated by a government agent or a private individual. Freedom and liberty are being lost in deference to a false sense of security. Who could feel safe with a drone watching them while they're in their backyard? I mean, they can watch everything we do all day long, all day long, all night long, and all the next day. The and then you might as well live in Havana. Think about it, Houston. Just think about it.